We just had a performance. We had the certified praise fest downtown on the Robert Riverwalk Hotel. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ellen Hayes, and music is my blind passion. With him in my life, it means so much to me. Well, we started at about three years old with being a copycat, looking at my mom. <laughs> my mom was a musician. She also sang, you know, not professionally, but she had a really beautiful voice. Uh, but she was a musician, and she played for the choir, and I used to watch her all the time. So watching her made me want to do what she did. Like I said, I was a copycat, so I started copying, you know, with two fingers hitting on the keys at about three years old. And uh, I kept going and kept going, and before I knew it, I was actually playing chords. But yeah, about 24 years ago, uh, my dad, uh, Pastor Charles Edison, he was uh, the pastor of the Word of Truth Church. And we used to sing the songs and the hymn books, you know. He started encouraging us to look in the Bible. He said there were plenty of songs in the Bible that God had already written. You know, and, and we could get them, put music to them, you know. And, and what, you know, actually what that did for me as an artist is it allowed me to be more creative, you know, rather than uh, taking it, you know, it opened up a different part inside of my head. You know, I said, okay, this is the creative part of me now. Now I get to arrange music, original music, you know, so I get to arrange music to the lyrics in this Bible, but you know, it, it, had, it was a double-sided blessing. <laughs> it was, it was a double-sided blessing because not only did I get a chance to be creative, I learned the Bible even better. Mm. You know, because if you're singing and you're singing from the scriptures and things that's in the Bible, it allows you to understand what's in the Bible even better. And that way, with you having a better understanding in the Bible, then as you sing and minister in song to God's people, you know, it let, if, if you understand it, you can sing it and express it to make them understand it as well. Probably, maybe from the age of nine, you know, I would always dream about being on a stage and singing in front of a lot of people, you know, lights, camera, action, that sort of stuff, you know. <laughs> you know, and I don't, I don't really think it was the type, the, the thing that I like, the limelight. I just like to sing. I don't really think I like the limelight. I just, I just really like to sing. And, uh, you know, so I got my, my little debut at 12 years old, you know, with the Lord's Prayer. And, after that, you know, it was pretty much all one. You know, I sang in school, mm -hmm. uh, in high school. I was in a concert choir, you know, Glee, Glee Club, and we would sing for the ethnic festivals and all of the winter and spring choral concerts and different things like that. Step Into Your Blessing, uh, we went through so many titles through this CD. My cousin, Jeff, uh, he got started with me, you know, he and I, we tried so many different things with the CD. We started in 2005 and we started, I was recording and playing my music, you know, which is okay, you know, I'm, I'm okay. To me, I'm, I'm a good musician and I'm good doing what I do at the church, but as far as setting it out there, I'm not ready for that yet. So, but I mean, you know, I'm, I have a little bit more confidence, I would say, maybe in my singing than I do in my playing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, nonetheless, God gave me the gift and I will polish it as well, you know, to be the best that I can be as, you know, as far as being a musician as well. But, um, yeah, but uh, we got started and we, you know, we did it so many different ways. You know, we tried it with groups, we tried it with, you know, recording here, recording there, doing cover songs, doing promo songs, you know, and then it all boiled, boiled down, you know, I end up, you know, he introduced me to Michael Mendingall, which was uh, the producer of Step Into Your Blessing. When I met him, 
And then we started putting music together and putting ideas together and doing things. I said, okay, this is it. The whole album itself is very encouraging. I believe that you'll be encouraged, you'll be inspired, you'll be uplifted. Uh, it's, it's just a beautiful piece of music. I really feel you'll enjoy it. I told you my oldest brother that was a doctor, that was a musician. <laughs> he, he formed a group with our family members and he called me up one day. I had to be in my very early 20s, maybe 20, 21, and uh, called me on the phone and I answered the phone, you know, hello. He said, do you want to be a star? You know, nothing else. And I'm saying, oh, okay, you know, I recognize the voice. I knew who it was. So, and I had no idea he was trying to form a group. So, you know, my answer right away, yeah, <laughs> sure. Who wouldn't want to be a star? You know, but, um, you know, nonetheless, we did, we, we did a couple of CDs and, you know, we sang around town, you know, a few places uh, out of the state, different things like that. But, you know, over the years, you know, it became a little taxing on some of us older chicks that was in the group and then the younger ones was getting on with their life and getting married and going off to college and doing different things. So, you know, that, the, that group no longer existed. But, you know, and then, <clears throat> like I said, my dad um, became ill. So, you know, we kind of put everything in him, you know, toward him, taking care of him for about 10 years. So for about 10 years, even though I'm the minister of music at my church, you know, I play for all the choirs over there. It's three. A, a junior choir, a mass choir, and a male choir. And uh, so I played for all three. And so I still did that, but I took care of my dad. But then I just kind of put my career as, as a singer on hold. You know, I did my singing in church. I never stopped singing. Never stopped singing. So, I mean, I would always sing in church. And when the church would have outings and do different things, you know, I would go and I would always sing. So. I'm thankful for that because that kind of kept me polished. If I didn't love what I was doing, I wouldn't do it. I would only do it for a short time and then I would probably stop, I'm sure. But in order to stay in it as long as I have to be persistent and you know even though you got knocked down and kicked back and all those different things if you keep pushing forward you have to love what you do.